What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with probably the most underused dragon Pokemon of all time, Drampa. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Only takes two seconds of your guys' time. I give a huge shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. Like I said, only takes two seconds of your guys' time. You just gotta scroll down a little bit below this video, and then you'll see a box that says subscribe. It's all red. Yeah, click that one. Click that box right there. But like I said, we're rocking out with Drampa today. Probably one of the most underused dragon types of all time. I can't think of another one, but this Pokemon is pretty good with the Cloud9 ability alongside the Life Orb. So it's definitely gonna be fun to rock out with. But before we get into today's team preview, we got one more day left in the giveaway. So if you guys are interested in a free $20 eShop gift card, head down the link in the description below. Click on that link. You can enter multiple different ways. Takes two seconds to enter. If you guys are interested in twenty dollars eShop gift card, get on top of that. Because like I said, one day left, one day and one day only. But let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Zapras, Zacian with Interpret Sword, Rust Sword, and everything else is pretty normal. You got the Player Off, the Protect, the Iron Head, and the Close Combat for its fairly normal move set. Right next to him is going to be that Defiant Thunders with that Assault Best and then another fairly normal moveset. We're rocking Wild Charge, Foul Play, Brick Break, and Fly. I love this moveset so much and I love the item that we're using on this uh, Thunders. I love the Assault Best. I think it works perfectly on him and makes him a bit more bulkier up against some special attackers. Middle left is going to be Incineroar. That's all you need to know. That is the most, like most normal Incineroar ever. Like, that is probably the, the main Incineroar set right there. Flare Blitz, Throw, Chop, Part, and Shot, Fake Out. Come on. Intimidate, Shukaberry. That is the most normal Incineroar you will ever see. Fourth Pokemon on squad is right next to him. It's going to be our second restricted Pokemon. It is going to be Shadow Rider Calyrex with as one ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as item. Astro Barrage, Protect, Trick Room to actually counter Trick Room, or if, say, they somehow are faster than this team right here, then we can pop Trick Room. Say if they're popping a Tailwind or something like that, we can pop a Trick Room. Then we got Snarl for our final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support Amoongus over here with Regenerator alongside with the Koba Berry and then everything else is fairly normal with the Rage Powder protecting Spore but it is rocking Seed Bomb so that's a little bit different for an Amoongus. Final Pokemon on the squad is the reason I picked this team. It's going to be that Cloud9 Drampa with that Life Orb. It's normal in Dragon typing and we're rocking Heat Wave, Snarl, Helping Hand and Hyper Beam. So one thing I wish we did have was a Dragon move but it's all good. We're still rocking our Stab Normal move which is going to work really well when we Dynamax this Pokemon. But guys, there's team preview. If you want to rent this code for yourself, rent this code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Trampa team. Let's get rolling here in battle number one. We're going up against a Alga and Mewtwo team. Very cool team, actually, with, uh, what is that? Inteleon, Thunderous, Entei, and then Tapu Koko. So, a bunch of cool off meta squad right here. I really do dig it, but too bad we're going to have to slap on it and grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like I'm leading Trampa, but I want to check this boy's stats, dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude right there. Oh, I didn't get to see his speed. I didn't get to see his speed, but I'm going to enter him anyway. So check his summary. Let's check his speed. He hits like a truck. I'm loving him so much. 75 speed. Not too bad. Um, but we're going to roll out with him as lead alongside with maybe Amoongus just to get us started. We could definitely go Amoongus. We could go Shadow Rider, Calyx as well, or Incineroar. Incineroar isn't too bad here. Incineroar. I'm thinking Calyrex just for a lot of snarls because he has a lot of special attackers. So I'm really digging that. So, you know, I'm going to go Calyrex. I'm going to go Drampa alongside with Zacian in the back end. And then last but not least, do I roll out with Thunderous? Thunderous or Incineroar? Who's going to work a little bit better for us? I feel like Thunderous would be a bit better with that Assault Fest. Up against a lot, like I said, a lot of special attackers. So I'm going to lock it in. Unlock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. Well, let's see if he's going to lead. I feel like Inteleon might come out here as a lead. Kind of scary. A little bit not really because we do have that Shadow Rider Calyrex going to outspeed pretty much everything he's going to be able to drop snarls on a bunch of special factors and we're going to be able to get buzzing from there i just want to get my drampa to start hitting just has to get out there has to start dropping max tricks because that will lower their speed as well which is really good so he's going to go thunderous and dialga and i don't really mind this i kind of do but then i kind of don't because like the thunders has defiant but we're still going to snarl and we're still going to max strike that's my plan even though we are going to to defiant boost this thing i still feel like a snarl can work for us it could definitely work wonders for us. So I am going to max strike. I'm definitely going to max strike here. I'm going to Dynamax. I am going to drop a max strike. And I'm going to get after this. Uh, I'm going to get after his Thunders. So we should be able to take him out with a Snarl and this. But we are going to proc Defiant. But I still feel like we should be fine. As long as he doesn't Dynamax with Thunders. But I think he's going to Dynamax with Diablo. I really do see Diablo kind of coming out here with Dynamax and rolling out strong. But we shall see what this guy wants to do. Because again, I think we are going to proc Defiant. We're going to hope he just doesn't Dynamax at all. We're just going to hope he doesn't. And I don't think he does because Trampa's going first on the Dynamax board. Unless he's Dynamax to Diago because Trampa's rather slow. He's rather slow at 75. 
at 75. The Defiant is going to be annoying, but I think we should be fine. I think we shall be fine. We're going to roll in there. Dynamax go 334. This thing is going to go plus two on attack, which is kind of scary. So we're hoping he's going after Shadow Rider Kalex. Just a proc Sash. He's going to Eerie Impulse me. Uh, I'm not cool with that. I'm actually really cool with that. So I guess this one's Prankster. This one is going to be Prankster instead of a... Uh, Set it to fire. Okay, that actually works better for us. Because I'm just going to snarl with Shadow Rider Kalex. Drop special attack. That's huge all day. I'm digging it all day. I'm digging it all day. That works for me. I can always swap my Kalex if I want to. And this thing's going to Dragon Pulse. That's totally fine. We're going to be able to soak up. And more importantly, we are going to be able to drop the speed here. And take out Thunders, right? Thunders should go down here. Should should just up on him, right? Get him on out of here. Beautiful. The Drampa getting us started off strong. Um, I could stay in the Snarl, which I might do. But I could hard swap. It really depends who he brings out here. He brings out another special attacker. I'm just going to Snarl drop. Just keep doing that. Just keep on doing that. I could drop a Max Player into Dialga if I wanted to. I do not know if I want to do that. Again, it really depends who he throws out as his next Pokemon. It's going to be Entei. So Entei's going to fly out here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Entei is more on the physical side, isn't he? But I still kind of want to Snarl here. I could Max Strike. I could definitely Max Strike, which I, I'm going to do. I'm going to slow, slow down the Pokemon, and I'm going to pop... Could go Astro Barrage, but no, I think Snarl's gonna be reply. Just keep dropping that onto that Diago, because Diago might Dynamax. I can definitely see Diago maybe potentially Dynamaxing, and I kind of want it to, because it's already minus one, and if it does, we're just gonna keep dropping it, dropping it, dropping it, and just waste out his Dynamax turns. Just waste out those lovely Dynamax turns. Let's see what he wants to do. Let's see what he wants to do, because we do have my boy Drampa hitting hard. He's hitting hard. And Dragon Pulse isn't really gonna do too, too much, as, he, as this Diago is about to be minus two. And he ends up Dynamaxing. Show me that Dialga. I think it's going to be that Entei. I'm hoping it's the Dialga, but... Show me the Dialga. But I do think it's going to be Entei. It is going to be Entei. So Entei gets a Dynamax. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Who do we have in the back end? We have Zacian in the back end alongside with uh, Thunderous. So, I mean, a little scary. But so we're going to be able to hit this thing with a Max Strike, which is going to be pretty solid for us. So Snarl's going to come through here. Built, chipping up some damage. More importantly, get that special attack drop. And what's he going to go for with... Uh, with that thing, but I have Flare. He's going, for, he's going for a straight darkness here. Into my Calyrex. Calyrex is going to be Sash. That's so going to be gorgeous. And we're hoping that he's going for a Dragon Pulse up against the... Uh, up against the Drampa. I would love to get off another turn with this uh, with this Calyrex right here. And I would love to get off a shot with Drampa and slow down all these guys. The Drampa should be faster than... Uh, Ente, yeah. Or not Ente, Dialga at this point, which is gorgeous. The Max Strike is going to fly through here. We're going to do a decent amount of damage with Drampa. And more importantly, we're going to get that, that Speed Drop. That Speed Drop is huge. Speed drop is lovely. The speed drop coming in here. I'm hoping Drampas can outspeed Entei at this point. So we can get off some more turns. But he's going to end up... Oh, popping a Trick Room. Okay. The Trick Room comes out here. That's a, that's a rather smart play. That is a rather smart play. Wow, you son of a biscuit. Pops a Trick Room. Pops a Trick Room. And uh, do I go for Flare here? Hmm. Trick Room out and about. You little biscuit. Pops a Trick Room. Smart play. Smart play. So he pops a Trick Room. That's a great play before him. And... uh. What do I do? Good lower special defense, but we have physical attackers in the back end. I'm just going to max strike again. I'm just going to max strike the Entei, and if I can get off this trick room, that would be gorgeous, but I don't think we can. I'm still going to try it. I'm still going to try it. Maybe he doubles down into Drampa and we counter us up. Wow, dude. Trick room was a great call. What a call by him. I'll give it to him all day. I'll give it to him all day. But he's going to withdraw. Okay, he, if he doesn't take out Calyrex here, that would be beautiful. If he doesn't take out Calyrex, I would love it. If he does not take out Calyrex, we're sitting in such a good position. Let's see how this one plays out here. Go after Drampa. Go after Drampa. Strike's going to come through here. We are still slowest on the field. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. And we're going to deal some mean old damage to Entei. Yo, if this thing goes after my Drampa, we are sitting in such a good spot. Let's see what he does. Let's see what my boy does. Go into Drampa. Go into Drampa. Leave my Calyrex on the field. Leave my Calyrex on the field. Let's go. Let's go. That is enormous. That is enormous because now we're switching back, Trick Room. We're countering it. And I think we're sitting in, in the driver's seat for this battle, right? We're definitely sitting in the driver's seat for this battle. Even though my Calyrex is minus two, I think an Astro Barrage will be able to take out that. And I'm going to drop a Hyper Beam right into that top of Coco. I ain't playing around. Actually, Coco's probably going to go before Drampa. But still. If I can get off some damage, that is lovely. Hyper Beam coming in hot. Chipping up damage on that thing. And actually, he's minus one. Coco's minus one because he swapped that turn. I'm going to hope that this Astro Barrage can take out the Entei. It might not because, again, we are minus two from that early Eerie Impulse. But I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Yo, he left my Calyrex to survive there, which was perfect for us. We were able to counter Trick Room back. And now we have Zassian and Thunders, who are rather faster Pokemon 
in the back end. Cause that's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I love where we're sitting. I love it, yo. Trample with the Dynamax? I digged it. I digged it, dude. That was my first time using Trample in rank battles. I love it. He's going to hard swap the Anthe. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I'm actually kind of cool with that. Not really. A little bit. Not really. Let's see. Let's see. Because he's trying to pop a trick room soon. If he takes out my, what's it called? If he takes out my, uh, my Calyx, I'll be, I'll be with it all day. But we're going to do this. Get all some damage onto them. And wow, that actually did a lot to Dialga. We got a crit. That's why. A crit on Dialga. I was wondering why I did so much. And he's going to thief me. And we, just, yeah, I was going to say, we should be able to survive that. He's going to take my life for it. But still, he's dead. He's dead all day. We're going to hyper beam. Use our last ditch effort kind of thing here. Bop him out of here. Hyper beam, yo. Dude, that move is ridiculous. <laughs> the animation is just ridiculous. We get rid of Coco. All he has left is an Entei on one HP. And I think we should be chilling here. Even if he pops Trick Room. Even if he pops Trick Room. Bro, we just sent we just sent the hyper beam this way. That's hilarious. So we just ripped with the hyper beam. Calyrex is fastest on the field. I think it's pretty much GG's. Look at the HP. Look how low he is on HP. Drampa has to recharge, but it was worth it. Drop that thing with a hyper beam. Lovely. And our opponent cancels the battle. First battle went perfectly. The Shadow Rider Calyrex counteracted that Trick Room and Drampa got some love in the Dynamax. More importantly, we grab ourselves that win. But we're hopping into our second battle here. Going up against a Zacian and Lugia team with Amoongus, Raichu, Incineroar, and Sneasel. A little Sneasel action. I think Sneasel's just there to proc the policy onto that uh, Lugia. So how should we go into this one? How should we play? I feel like going into like a Pokemon like Calyrex just so we can start Snarl dropping. Kind of getting after the battle that way. So I really do like that lead. I could go with Dramp here as well. Dramp's not too shabby. He's not too shabby. Or we can lead like Calyrex and go in with maybe like Incineroar. Just for Fake Out turn one. Fake Out's pretty solid. I do dig it. I do dig it. Let's go Incineroar, Calyrex, and then go Zacian. And I'm feeling thunderous in the back end. We just got to watch out for that Lightning Rod on that Raichu. Raichu. Got to watch out for that. Uh, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I'm digging it all day. Drampa, we showed you. We showcased you in the first battle. You're going you're gonna to sit the benches. He's sitting the bench as one, but hopefully we can go back to back here. But yo, I didn't even ask you guys a question of the day about it. That is, do you guys prefer digital or physical copy of video? For me personally, I always like uh, physical copies, but recently I've been getting digital just because they're so much easier. I don't have to leave the house at all. I don't, I don't have to deal with uh, all that stuff, picking up the game day one. I can just download it and play it at minute, you know? But the only problem with the Switch is it's, it's really uh, low storage. Low storage. It's a little rough. We don't like that. We don't like that. But uh, he's going to go into Sneasel. Sneasel over here. And I'm just going to fake it out. It doesn't have inner focus. What ability does this thing have? I kind of want to look it up on, on my other PC. Oh, he does have. He does have inner focus. Never mind. Never mind. So we cannot fake him out. I'm just going to Snarl turn one. Or I can Ash I'm just going to Snarl. Just, just drop some attack. And you know what? I'm going to dip out of here. That's why I'm playing all day. Because he's definitely going to Dynamax proc policy. Unless he's faking out. Unless he thinks we're going to proc policy. I would rather Snarl and take off that multi-scale and then drop my Astral Rage. The Snarl will be a little bit better due to that uh, special attack drop. So he's going to Dynamax Lugia. I'm totally cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. Solid coming from a mile away. And Sneasel with the, uh, with the, what's it called? With the inner focus. Definitely does some good. Definitely does some good. So he's going to end up going for a fake out. That's totally fine. I guess I'm proccing policy. Smart play by him. We're going to snarl. He's going to go plus two. Uh, and then minus one. So he's just going to be plus one. That's totally fine. Unless he's not weakest policy. That'd be a little weird. That would definitely be a little weird. Yeah, he is weakest policy. So weakest policy is going to proc here. I'm going to go for Astral Barrage next turn. Or I could just keep snarl dropping him. It really depends what he wants to go for here. He's going to go for an Airstream. So he's going to boost a little bit of speed here. He's going to go after my Calyrex. And my Calyrex is going to be able to soak up all day. So speed is in our favor. As long as the Sneasler or the Sneasel doesn't... uh. Doesn't do me dirty, you know? As in order to flinch, I am going to drop an Astro Bosch at this point. Try to get that off, and then just, uh, I could throw a chop, but I feel like just a parting shot's gonna be our best bet. Just to save Incineroar for the back end, have fake out later in the match. That's my play all day. We're hoping that my boy should be able to outspeed. I think it should still be able to outspeed Lugia, but the Sneasel, I'm kind of worried about. I think it's pretty fast. He's gonna fling, and he's gonna fling a Lance at Barry over onto Lugia. Yeah, he's gonna fling it onto Lugia. Lugia gets that Lance at Barry. He's gonna munch it up. He's gonna say, Ayo, let's get it. He's getting pumped. And I think he does outspeed me. Wow, dude. He does outspeed me. So he's just gonna double my Calyrex. That's rough. That is real rough. But we're gonna bring it to special attack set down. But he's just gonna start critting. He's just gonna start critting, which is rough. Wow, you do out. You a plus one Lugia is outspeeding my Calyrex, man. No good. That's no good. Burn shot's gonna come out here. Yeah, right. send it. 
and we dip it out of here. So we have that. He's back to even on the on the special attack board. Now I can bring out Pokemon like Zacian and Thunders, which is gonna be pretty solid for us. Zacian and Thunders, which isn't too bad. I'm gonna throw Thunders out here. Um, hmm. and obviously Zacian. Or I can bring back out Incineroar, but I really don't want to. I really don't want to. I'd rather have Incineroar for the back end because he has inner focus right there. He's gonna roll strong. But I'm gonna have to Dynamax my Thunders here. I'm gonna have to drop some Max Lightning. So I have to get after the battle that way. I'm gonna roll off strong. But Lugia's like the only problem, so I might double down into him at this point. Might just double down right into him, right? Behemoth Blade into a Dynamax, Max Knuckle. Or not Max Knuckle, Max Lightning. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. I could have went for an Airstream, but I feel like a Behemoth Blade in it. And a lightning can really do this guy dirty. But I gotta I gotta admit, this this Lugia is super bulky. He's super super bulky. But I can always just max knuckle on the sneasel next turn too. Give both these guys an attack boost. That could be huge. That could honestly be huge. Well we dynamax the thunderous. We are definitely still in this battle. I think it's gonna be kinda of close here. I think this is a this is a chance where we turn the tides. He's gonna triple axe on me. That's totally fine. Hopefully he only connects like one or two. Here's the second one. Keep it that way. Keep it that much. Keep it that much. He connects all three. Get out of my face, dude. Oh my lord. Was that a crit? What the? What is this? Oh my lord. The damage. Go after Zacian. He goes for quick. He is going to go after my Zacian. He can get that special defense boost. Uh, I guess that's fine. That's so rough. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. The damage is ridiculous. The damage. The Lance at Barry crit. Oh my lord. Damage is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. We're gonna go for a blade here. God dang, man. God dang, I can't do anything around here. Not do anything around here. We're gonna do this. Chip up some mean damage. We're gonna take him out with a the lightning and we're gonna get thriving from there. Okay, so there's this. Built. Definitely gonna triple axle in the meat. A play that I could make. Could be oh, I cannot protect him. Might have to hard swap him. Might have to hard swap into my incinerator. It really depends on who he throws out in this battle. But we take out the Lugia. Wow, dude, that did so much damage. Did so much damage. First off, it connected three times. That's a that's a high accuracy chain or a low accuracy thing. And then, like, of course, he gets a crit on the final one, which is does the most damage. Wow, did me dirty. He's gonna throw out his next Pokemon. He's gonna be Zacian of his own. Uh, I think I hard swap into my uh, I hard swap into my Incineroar. Right, probably my best bet. I don't want to protect him. I kind of just want a behemoth blade and take out the Sneasel. And then just hard swap into my Incineroar at this point. Wow, dude. That is rough. That is rough, rough, rough. Rough, rough, rough. God dang, Sneasel and Lugia combo. Doing me so dirty. But I gotta sneeze. to hold my nose and try to prevent it. <laughs> try to prevent the sneeze. Let's see what this guy does from here. We're gonna drop the Thunders. We're gonna go back into Incineroar. We're gonna roll off in here. Get rolling. Do 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 do. Then we're gonna come out from us. We're gonna drop a little intimidate onto his physical attackers. It's gonna be pretty good. And we're hoping that uh his sneasel is going after my incinerator slot. Gonna end up oh that's gonna be good. This could be good. Because I think he's gonna triple axle again. Try to take out my thunder slot. Icy winds could come in here. Icy wind dropping. Okay, that's pretty good. Because my Pokemon should be able to eat that up. We take out Sneasel. Uh, we could fake out the Zassian this turn, too. But he does slow me down, which is a little rough. We do not like that one bit. He does slow me down. Behemoth Blade coming in hot. We're going to take out the Sneasel today. And he cannot protect him, which we do have fake out Raider Roll. So I could hard swap back into Thunderous. Just, it really depends who he has. We could hard swap back into Thunderous, but I really don't want to. I have to, I have to take advantage of this fake out turn here. Right, I, have to take, I, have to, I have to take advantage of this fake out turn. Who's he going to go into? Who's his final mod? be instant roar of his own so i might just swap actually no his instant roar is gonna go first his instant roar is gonna go first so he can fake me out if he wants to i think i just gotta protect and bring back out and swap my instant roar to my thunders so have my thunders die just so i can have intimidate ready to roll again and fake out next turn that's my play because he's gonna fake out the instant roar slot right he knows that his instant roar outspeeds mine due to that ac win so he's just gonna, you know, fake it out and kind of roll from there. He gets his play all day. He gets his play all day. This one's gonna be close. This one's definitely gonna be kind of close. I think we might have a chance here if, if uh, things work out our way. So let's see what he does. 
I'm gonna drop her in soon. We're just gonna say, hey, yo, come back here. We're, we're, we're looking to fight in this battle and win this one. We're gonna bring our thunders. We're gonna let thunders go down here. I'm gonna protect my Zassian. I'm gonna say, Zassian, you're not allowed to go down here. We're gonna protect Zassian. He's gonna fake out onto that slot. So I saw that coming all day. That is going to take out Thunders. And we're gonna block up on this next shot. So we're gonna be able to force our incident. We're back out here for a solid intimidate here. And more importantly, have fake out control this turn. Okay, right, so Incineroar's gonna come out here. Um, do I make the I think I have to make the hard read here, right? Do I have to make the hard read here? Do I have to make the hard read here? Or do I still fake out the uh or do I still fake out the what's it called? The Zassian. Let me see your speed. You are minus one. I know that for a fact. 180. Mm -hmm. Can you outspeed this Incineroar? I think you can. I think you can outspeed this Incineroar. I'm going to have to go for here. Close combat drop. And I really want to fake you out. But I feel like you're going to protect, right? I think I still have to post a start on to the fake out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just in case he doesn't protect, we have to pose this. Yeah, beautiful. Great turn by me. So I'm going to fake out this ass and We're not going to make the hard read. And can close combat come out next? It does. Can we take you out? We are even. Oh, that's ugly. That is ugly. That is real ugly. We needed that to take out. That's rough. Who's the Cinnamon going after? Cinnamon's going after my Zassian, right? Zassian's dead. Ouch, dude. Ouch. So we put up a fight here. Wasn't too bad. Um, Do we still have a fighting chance here? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, probably not. Um, my, my, my one call here would be, like, go into a Flare Blitz into that Zassian. Maybe he has close combat to drop his defense. But I, I would need to take it out in one shot here. I would need to take it out in one shot. But what a solid second battle all around. We we, we almost dug ourselves out of a hole. That uh, that Lugia and the Sneasel crits were definitely doing us dirty. But uh, it, it'd be like that. Definitely be like that. He's going to go for a throw chop. He's doubling down. And uh, we are able to eat pretty well. We're able to eat pretty well. This recoil damage might actually do me dirty. We KO? Probably not, right? We do not. Wow, dude. This battle was actually a lot closer than I thought it was. We do get a burn. If I had Protect, that would be lovely. But we're going to go down to 26. If I had Protect, that would be gorgeous. But I do not. But I do not. But that's going to be GG's. I'm just going to run this battle. He's got me on lockdown all day, right? I mean, I might as well stay in here and give it a shot. But no, it's, he's got me on lockdown all day. I'm just going to run this battle. GG's to our opponent. We go one on one. Let's hop to our third and look to grab ourselves that winning record. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and that last battle came down to the wire, but it's all good. We're going to make up for it in battle number three by grabbing ourselves a winning record. We'll hopefully grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a Necrozma and Kyogre team with Thunderous, so we got to watch out for that Tailwind. And he's also rocking Incineroar, Urshifu, and what is that? Thing? Tapu Koko. We got to watch out for Urshifu as well. I think it could be a pain, especially up against my Shadow Rider Calyx. But I'm going to lead my Shadow Rider Calyx. I might lead Trampa as well. I have been digging Trampa, dude. Trampa's type nice, dude. I love it. I'm going to lead Trampa. I'm gonna go Trampa, I'm gonna go Calyrex, and we also have Cloud9 on him, which could uh, neglect a lot of the weather effects. I'm gonna go in with them too. Um, hmm. Next Pokemon I wanna roll into could be Thunders. Is it Thunders? Isn't he rocking foul play? Is he rocking foul play? He is rocking foul play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him. I'm gonna bring him and then bring Zassian in that final spot. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down and grab ourselves some winning record here. But yeah, if he leads Incineroar, he is gonna intimidate two special attackers, and then he can't pick out my Calyrex, and I'm gonna Dynamax Trampa anyway. So, it's just going to be a good call for us. It's going to be a good call for us. And that could, I could pop a trick. But the best part about having Cavax on the field is especially up against that Kai Ogre. We can outspeed and deal some good damage. So, we can't really, like, water spout me. That's what I love. That is what I love. Unless he goes into the, the Tailwind Pokemon. He's going to go Coco and Ogre. Which, I'm, I'm cool with the Coco and Ogre. I'm definitely cool with the Coco and Ogre. I could snarl. I could definitely snarl. But Astro Barrage is 100% of our play. And then Dynamax and Dramp and rolling out in, with this battle. Yeah, 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 I could definitely help in hand, which I'm really leaning towards. I really am leaning towards. Do I have Thunders in the back end? I do. So I'm leaning towards this helping hand instead. You know what? Let's do it. Let's run it. Let's help in hand. Let's help in hand. She's going to withdraw the Coco. This is a solid helping hand turn. And then Sinor's going to come out. I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. Totally fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. So he's going to get that attack drop. 
Well, and special attackers. This is huge for us. It's helping hands gonna poke here. This is a great first turn. It's a solid first turn. Good thing I didn't die to Max. So helping hands gonna poke here. He's gonna protect the ogre. That's totally fine. I can do the same thing next turn if I want to. Or I can just straight up Dynamax. I might Dynamax this, this next turn. Because I know he's going for the fake out. I know he's going for the fake out this next turn. Then we're going to drop this. Chip up some nice damage on this. That is lovely. And then I'm, I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to Dynamax at this point. Dynamax going to a max strike. Run it up. Run it up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So solid first turn for us. We didn't protect that would have been even better because Kyogre would have been hit hard. Because look how hard we hit that in Cinnamon for a not very effective shot. Like Helping Hand, I feel like, goes under the radar. It's such a good move and it makes your moves do like so much more damage. I think it's a 1. 1. 1.3 times multiplier, right? 1.3, that's high. That's like I think that's a little bit more than Life Orb, or it might be exactly the same as Life Orb. But he's going to end up Dynamax and Ogre. Okay. So he Dynamaxes the Ogre. I'm going to Dynamax Tramps. Trampa. But the best part about having Tramp out on the field here is... There's no effects of weather. Cloud9 is out and about. He could drop an ice move into me, which is a little scary, so I'm gonna have to start snarling soon. But it'd be like that. I didn't I, I wasn't expecting him to die. It's fine. I'm Dynamax and Drampa. I still have my boy in the back end too. Thunderous. Screen. And I have Zassian. Love the little Zassian. So if we can start dealing some damage to this instant roar and taking it out, that could be big for us as well. Let's see if he's going for that fake out. He's not. Might be just going straight for a parting shot. That's your barrage is doing some damage. He's going to Hailstorm, and I think he's going to parting shot out here. He's going to Hailstorm and Drampa. Drampa, that's an easy soak for you, buddy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good work, Dramps. So Dramps gets the soaks up. Um, I think he's going to parting shot, which is kind of scary. Kind of scary. Hail's going to come out here. There's no effects of weather, so that's good. So no buff is going to fly. And this thing's just going to straight up snarl. So that's a solid snarl. That is a solid snarl. That is a really good snarl for, on his end. A really good snarl. So we're gonna drop this back strike and slow down these guys just a little bit. Just a little bit. And deal some damage onto the over. So we get the slow down. Uh, my problem here is that Incineroar right there. Can he eat up a Can he eat up an Astro Barrage? A minus one Astro Barrage. That's that's what that's that's not sitting right with me. I think it's left there, was okay. So he's gonna so he's gonna heal up a, a little bit. So can this thing eat up an Ash? I think he can. Hmm. And now this Drampa outspeed this ogre. That's that's the real question. I think I'd rather protect my Calyrex here, and then take out the the Kyogre. I could go for Darkness here, even though Darkness wouldn't really do too much. Yeah, we're just gonna go for Max Strike here. I'm gonna try to take out this Incineroar. That's my plan, because he knows that Snarl is gonna be able to take me out. So I'm gonna protect my Calyrex here. I'm gonna hope that this Max Strike can take out this Incineroar. Right? Take him out all day, please. Get rid of him. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Okay, so Incineroar drops out here. That's huge for our Zassian in the back end because Incineroar really count counters up on our Zassian. We dropped the speed here. He's probably dropping another Hailstorm. So we could have went for a shot, but it's okay. We're playing it safe. Hailstorm does come out here again. He's going to take out my Drampa. The so Drampa drops out. I can bring out my uh, Thunders at this point. Pose that huge threat with that electric terrain out on the field too. That's enormous. That's enormous. And I can start Snarl Drop. So hopefully he brings out a special attacker that I can just Snarl Drop. I do dig that turn. I do dig it. Electric terrain out and about. What about? Buffets are out or back because Cloud9's gone. And yo, look at the Calyrex's little legs. Look, look, they look like little bug legs. <laughs> they look like little bug legs. It's hilarious. But yeah, let's bring out Thunders here. We have that Assault Fest. Uh, who's he going to bring out? That's a real question. He's going to bring out Top Coco. It's really fine by us. So Coco is coming in hot. We're just going to Snarl Drop and we are going to roll into a, uh, a Wild Charge. Even if he protects. It's, it's, it's still good. Snarl, let's bounce it. And then wild charge straight across into the ogre slot. Get him. Get after him, dude. Let's get after him. I think he is going to max guard here. He knows we have speed. He knows we have speed. And he knows Tapu Coco might be faster than my Thunderous. It's not faster than my Calyrex. He's going to go minus one. But I, I don't think Coco has anything to really, like, take out my Thunderous. Right? What's he rocking? A fairy and electric move? Get it, get it out of here. Get it out of here. So he ends up going for the guard. Like I said, that's totally fine. We just had to pose that threat with that, uh, with that wild charge. But more importantly, Snarl's going to come out here on this special attacker. Most top of Cocos are special attacking. But if you are physical, I guess we'll find out in a second. And we'll get that minus one onto him. He's going to end up going for a Dazzling Beam. He has special attacking, and we should be able to soak. Calyrex too, right? Yeah. Calyrex ends up soaking, and I think it's Orb. Oh, this is a lovely turn. This is a lovely turn. So I'm just going to Snarl drop again and Wild Charge. 
snarl wild charge get them all in out of here or i could wild charge an astral bar. that is that is that is a potential kind of thing you could do that is the thing we could do this dynamax is over his dynamax is over we can absolutely He's silver on the speed side, which is big. So you know what? I am just gonna go for here. Instead of a snarl, we're just gonna go here. And we're just gonna wild charge. We have speed all day. We have speed all day. Is he gonna swap his Kyogre? I feel like I feel like we're sitting in a good good spot for this final battle here. Dramp is doing good, dude. We, both battles we brought Dramp in. He's thriving. He won us the first battle and then he and he put us in a great position here in the third. So he's gonna end up with on the Kyogre. That's I, I kinda saw that coming, but we are dropping an Ash Rush, which is huge. An Astral Barrage. We do, oh, we do, we do have Foul Play. We do have Foul Play ready to roll. Astral Barrage should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that damage onto that. This thing, we did proc policy, but dude, we're fine. We're fine. I can, I outspeed him and I Foul Play next turn. That's fine. That's fine. Wild Charge is going to poke from the Coco. He's going to go after my Thunderson. Oh my lord. That took me out. That's rough news. That's no bueno. That is no bueno. Okay. Wow, that took me out. It wild charge and dazzle beam. So he wasn't special attacking. <laughs> he wasn't special attacking. Now you rocking dazzle beam and wild charge. That's a little weird. That is a little weird. He did have the uh, the terrain out there as well. We're gonna roll in here. If I can get off another Ash Burst. I'm gonna roll in the Kyogre. Do I double into Necrozma? I feel like the Necrozma poses a threat, but then it doesn't. It does, but it doesn't. It's tough. That is tough. What's my play call here? Protect Zass and go into Astro Barrage or do I double down? Hmm. I feel like we have to do this, right? Because the Crossman doesn't really have any double hitting moves. I feel like we have to double down on this Kyogre. Have to double down on this Kyogre. Astro Barrage is going to poke through here. How much damage? We are minus one with him, but still. Still be able to chip up some damage. Beautiful. Zassian should go next. Cool. Zassian play rough this thing. And it should be GG's, right? Unless he has a double hitting move. Unless this thing has a double hitting move. It should be fine. Let's see what he's ripping with. Sun Shield Strike. So he Sun Shield Strikes. That's perfect. That's perfect. He's going to take out Calyx, right? Or is he going to take out my Zassian? Both my Pokemon outspeed. He goes after Zassian. Zassian eats anyway. Anyway he eats. And that's going to be GG's. My boy Drampa win those two battles. We're going to drop an Astro Barrage. And we're just going to go for this close combat because it's 100 accuracy. It's going to be GG's. We're going to rock out 2-1 for today's video. Grab ourselves a winning record. Astro Barrage poking here. Let's see. We're going we're we're to send our farewells to Mr. Kurosman. Bye, buddy. See you later. 2-1. We grab ourselves another winning record. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. A solid set of battles with this Life Orb Tramp team. I absolutely love that Pokemon. Definitely a lot of fun to use. Hits pretty hard. Counters up on Weather with Cloud9. And more importantly grabs herself some wins but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread positive every day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody